Hello everybody! Today we're going to talk about how to make the most out of your trip to the Production Music Conference. Back to the studio. Those kids. 15 minutes of fame. All right, everybody, back in the studio. So, the Production Music Conference is taking place this Wednesday night, October 4th, and then all day Thursday, October 5th, then all day Friday, October 6th. This video is about how to make the most out of your PMC experience. Again, I am not going to the PMC. I am not doing any more conferences, any more expos, any more whatever for the foreseeable future, okay? I stand by my hypothesis that any time spent at one of these conferences can be much better spent in the studio working on music instead of glad handing and chuckling around a coffee station, okay? Uh, I call these coffee station events because some big library always sponsors the coffee station and they like to publicize that they, it's like they cured cancer by sponsoring a coffee station, okay? Do that, I know it's profitable, do it, but I'll be in the studio, I'll be doing real meetings and making real phone calls, you know, in, instead of just glad handing. Anyway, anyway, so if you're going to the PMC, great, here's how you make the most out of it, and by extension, here, here's how you make the most out of going to any kind of conferences. I know some people that throw conferences have unsubscribed from my mailing list, they unfollow me on Twitter, they get really upset that this is my opinion, but it's my opinion and it's rooted in fact, so here we go. This is how you make the most of the opportunity. Okay. Always have a backup plan. All right. If, if 2 p.m. there's so-and-so is speaking and you want to go see them, great. Always have a backup in case they don't show up. Plenty of times, like last year at the PMC, one of the people that I specifically wanted to, to hear didn't show up. Me, them, in France, uh, last year, the person didn't show up. Last year, at the ASCAP Expo, the person didn't show up. Sing Summit Prague, they canceled the whole event. So I had to have a backup plan for the whole conference, let alone backup plan for one panel or one you know, block on the schedule. So always have a backup plan. Have your first priority and then a B, a B priority, okay? And a lot of times, a lot of these big panels, it's standing room only, it, it's, there's too many people, you might not want to sit there or stand there for an hour and listen to someone jibber jabber. You might want to go to um, a less full place where you can sit down, spread out, and, and get some real knowledge. So, th so always have a backup plan. Second thing, as an extension of that, that schedule, always check it to make sure it's current, to make sure it's updated. Follow the PMC on Twitter. And on Facebook, if, if the script flips and so, someone's not available or someone had to get post, something had to get postponed, uh, one of the panelists can't make it, the meeting room got moved, hopefully they'll tweet about it and let you know. I say hopefully because other conferences in the past, if it's bad news, they don't tell you. If it's good news, fireworks on the beach, they'll tell you. If it's bad news, Timberland can't make it to the panel. Uh, that happened twice last year. The company's doing it. They didn't, they didn't let anybody know until it was too late, okay? So I say, hopefully, they'll let you know. Another thing, set up as many meetings as possible around the conference, even if it means leaving the conference area. The PMC is at the Lowe's Hotel. That's in Hollywood and Highland. That's a very touristy area of of Los Angeles and of Hollywood, okay? There's a lot more neighborhoods and areas to, to go you know, out further than Hollywood and Highland. The first time I came to LA was at the Billboard Conference 2003. I stayed at Hollywood and Highland. I thought that was the epicenter of the universe and I tried to get all the music supervisors to come meet me and nobody would. The one, I mean, unless they're already speaking at that event. You know what I mean? So if you're calling writers and music supervisors and film directors and they can only meet on you know Thursday when there's the conference ditch the conference and go have a one-on-one -on -one meeting okay and I guarantee you that's what all these publishers and music libraries are doing anyway okay believe me if there's a music library driving into Hollywood from you know parts 
I don't want to name any specific neighborhoods because that will give away the library. But if a, libra if, a, if a music library head is coming into the conference and they have an opportunity to meet a music supervisor you know, a few miles away, they could take an Uber or a Lyft or something, they're going to do that. Okay? So you got to take a page out of their playbook. Be nimble. Be nimble. Okay? If, if that music supervisor can meet, maybe the morning of the 5th or the 6th, the music supervisor or film director or whoever or co-writer says, hey, I can meet, but I got to meet in Silver Lake. Go to Silver Lake. Okay? Go to Silver Lake. If you got to miss half of the metadata panel, metadata hasn't changed much in the last year. Sorry. It hasn't. You know, that's okay if you miss part of the panel. All right? Don't feel like you have to sit and stay just because you paid for the badge. All right? LA is a big place. Don't be afraid to, to go and then come back. Okay. Another tip. Meet people you could write with that compliment you. Okay. If you do great music but you can't sing, find a singer. Find someone who could write lyrics. If you're a singer and you could write and produce music but you know the, the main thing is the singing, Find a music producer, all right? That's where you're going to get the most return on your investment. It's not going to be, look, I met with three libraries last year, including one of the main PMC sponsors that had a, a, a table right by the coffee station. You know, they called me, they're going to hire me to do music, and they, you know, they said how many tracks they needed, they set the budget, this whole thing. Then they just stopped responding. They never bothered to listen to the music I sent them, you know? Come on. And then they're on Twitter tweeting about Taco Tuesday. Okay? And this library, before one of these libraries always likes to troll my social media, it's not the one with no budget distribution deal library. It's one that had budget, wanted to take ownership. They called me with a budget, and then they just stopped. Okay? So don't worry about meeting these libraries. All right? Worry about meeting co-writers and people that compliment what you're doing because if your music is that good and one library doesn't call you back who knows maybe they have budget problems who, who cares I took those same songs that there's one library never even bothered to listen to okay and I and I and I kept them and I licensed them to shows and they're really great and the artists love them and it was awesome because I knew enough co-writers to get those songs up to that benchmark of really really high quality you get what I'm saying so don't chase these libraries down they're just as clueless as you are and you know me included no one really knows what they're doing you know what I mean no one really knows as much as people think they know and that and again that's me included I learn new stuff every day okay so if you're going to, to the PMC and you're going and you bought your flight or you're coming in, you're in town, and you know, you're, you're local and you go. If you're going to go at the expense of being in the studio writing stuff, meet writers. Okay, meet producers. And some of the producers and writers work at music libraries too. You know, how cool is that? You got a co-writer that works at a music library. Guess what? You're probably going to get your songs bought. Okay. So those are a few tips. I hope they help. Again, link in the description to my podcast. This video will be about, I don't know, 10 minutes or however long. This podcast down here in the description is going to be pushing an hour. It's going to be like 45, 50 minutes of, of content. Demo listening, and I talked about focus and some other cool stuff. So there you go. I hope that helps. Go to the PMC. Enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Learn a bunch of stuff. Tw tweet me. Get at me on Twitter. What are you learning? Who are you meeting? I hope you succeed. Uh, the PMC has been great to a lot of people, myself included. Just because I'm not going doesn't mean I don't like it or support it. It just means that I'd rather be in the studio and doing my, doing my own thing. Okay? So thanks again for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Holla.